Hello everyone, I'm Bantaro and I feel the need to inform you that today's video is a little bit of a mess. I'm not in love with it, but I'm pushing through anyway, and in just a moment, my previously recorded self is going to explain to you what you're watching me build right here. It's a little bit rambly, which is one of the reasons I'm not in love with this video, but if you're patient, I promise I do get to the point. Good morning, everyone. It's morning again, we're back at it, and somebody left this here. And I don't know what this is, but I think I have a good idea who put it here. Wait, it doesn't... Oh, it's Feather Falling! I, I'm i like, I can't read this, I don't understand. It's an enchanted book, it's Feather Falling. Nice, alright, yeah, let's put that on. Nice. Now I will die less. So very soon we're going to be updating to 1.20. In preparation for that, I've gotten something ready. We're going to make a bit of an event out of the whole ordeal. Nothing super fancy, but it should be lots of fun for everyone involved. So we're just gonna head over to spawn super quick. Right, so we decided that the spawn area, well not the spawn area, it's a little bit confusing because our spawn area is separate from our build area, nobody lives there, it's confusing. But we have this portal which is the center of our build zone. And uh, just out of habit from old servers, we keep referring to it as spawn, but it's not, it's not spawn. I don't really have a name for what we would call this area besides center of the building zone, which is a bit wordy. But my point is that we all agreed that this should be the shopping district. We haven't really gotten as far as anyone wanting to build shops besides this one little thing here. But whenever people do get around to that, this would be the zone to do it in. And I have built this. Now, when 1.20 comes out, we're going to have the 1.20 resource race, which basically boils down to there's a list of things. There's a list of things to get, some easier than others and a prize for each thing. So once the release comes out, people will be able to log on at their leisure, go collect the items, bring them back for a cash reward. And by cash, I mean diamonds because this is Minecraft. So it's pretty simple. I don't want to get up close and show what any of the things are yet, but we are very close to that update. That'll probably be next episode. So I guess one important thing for me to do is probably to make sure that I have all of the diamonds that I promised as reward. Okay, yeah, we, we, we definitely have enough. All right, and with that out of the way, I think we're gonna go figure out where random is and see what else we need to do in order to get ready to build the sword. What else do we need to build the sword? I think I got everything apart from like half the vines because I was like, it's probably saying that many because they grew. Yeah. And I was like, I'm not getting that many. I got a lot. I'm not getting more. So does that mean um, we have everything? Uh, everything you sent me, yeah. Really Sick. Soda. Might want to double check. But You're so good at... I'm pretty sure I got everything. Gathering re resources. Thank you. I try my best. <laughs> so where are you? I am working on the, the end thing in the nether. The end thing in the nether. Changing it up. Yeah. I have realized, you know how like I was like, oh, but the string is too much. The string isn't visible from inside. You really can't tell there's string there. And so I'm just like getting rid of all the concrete and replacing it with powder. I might need more powder. I see you um, still have the spawning issue. Yeah, I haven't figured that out. I don't know how to figure that out. I don't know how to change it. I wish I could. It's very annoying. As far as I understand, I looked it up. It seems like there's no way to stop hoglins from not spawning. There's no way to, to prevent them spawning. That's obnoxious. Yeah, it's really annoying. Like, Mojang, please. I'm begging you. I want them to go away. All right, well, uh, just... where did you put all of the resources for the sword? Uh, I put them in the shed. In the shed, okay. In that case, I think I'm going to go start building... All right, I've got everything I need. Let's get to it. Just like that, it is done. We 
still have a lot of time for the vines to grow. Ideally, they're going to be drooping all the way down to the ground. Nice long vines. That honestly did not take anywhere near as long as I expected it to, even though I ended up having to break it up into two episodes. Once I started actually building it, it just zoomed right right by. Now it's done, and now I gotta figure out what I'm doing next. Van! 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 I have amazing news! I hear your voice, I don't see you. Hello! You came out of nowhere. Dude, we just had a thunderstorm not long before. Oh, really? I finally got the hits! Finally! We can finally finish it! We can finish it! We can finish it! I it's, shouldn't have placed them. Well, they take forever to place. <laughs> it's been sitting. It's been sitting unfinished all this time. It took us so long to get a freaking thunderstorm. Do you even remember where they go? I think one goes. Oh, so... I think one. I think one goes here and one goes here. Okay, this one. I got that one. Is it? Is it? Wait, hang on. I want to bridge up. With it goes it. on one of these two shelves. Yeah, that looks right. We finally did it. It's finally, finally. complete. I also got a skeleton skull. If you want to place that in the other one. Uh, I don't really have a place for it. We can use it for another build, though, maybe. Oh, true, true, true. Do you have any idea what we're doing next? Well, I know I was trying to plan out the fishing hut. I haven't got a design fully down for that yet. The what? The fishing hut. I was going to put a little fishing hut around here Okay. Like, clear the area a bit and then put, like, a fishing hut here. Sort of at the base of the village? Yeah. Probably be a good idea to work on the staircase down. Are we definitely going to use wood for the walkway down? For this walkway over here? Yeah. Like, is Why do I have a skeleton skull in my head? Yeah. Because uh, I was thinking, what if we made it mud, like the mud bricks? I mean, I had planned on making the whole thing wood because I thought it would be like a um, oh, sort like of scaffolding? rickety wooden uh, planks. Bridge. That's fair, that's fair. Yeah. I feel like I remember you mentioning uh, planning out where to put the nether portal, right? Yeah, I wanted the nether portal, <laughs> I think, on that flat wall. I think I was going to put like a cave in there. What if we did a, a really big, cool piston wall? A piston wall? Like I mean, I guess that would entrance? be annoying. Yeah, but I guess that would be annoying because you'd have to keep opening it. We yeah. could, oh wait, I like the idea of actually making it look like kind of like a cave. Yeah, I so was like kind of what we've got going on now. But pretty. yeah, I like that idea better. But I guess we could just make general houses, maybe, or like I'm trying to think what else we need that's utility. Just like pluck away at the village, sort of thing. Yeah. What was the next thing? Oh, that was going to be going down the front of the mountain. Was it the mine entrance? I think mine entrance. Yeah, I think we had a plan for that. Have you been working on the schematic for that? Because I sure wasn't. I sure haven't been. I was more focused on trying to figure out a fishing hook. That's fair. You know what we should probably work on next, though? Interiors and transferring the villages. Because we could do with getting, like, a villager population. Um... I guess. <laughs> here's, here's something we can do. We could, at the very least, pick out what type of villager is going to be in each house. Yeah. So that we have somewhere to go with that. And it probably wouldn't even take too much planning. I mean, with the way interiors are, it'd probably mostly be just, you know, figuring it out as you go. Yeah, that's what I usually do for interiors. I feel like this would probably be a barn, right? This looks oh, yeah. like a farmer. Oh, yeah. Like, I think it would be really funny if we had, like, the equivalent of a minimum wage worker in this house. What Minecraft I don't know what that would be. Villager but... is not like a minimum We could put a nitwit in there. <laughs> I feel like some, someone fancy has to go in this one because of the prison room. Like, this feels like a snobby house. Okay. All right? Like, someone who's trying to show off. What if we went and got ourselves one of every workbench and then started putting them in? Uh, one problem. I don't remember what all the workbenches are. Well, we can Google it. True. Stone My days. Wait, wait, wait. This, wait, 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 wait. Get some of the fish from, from, from the fish chest. Quick, quick, quick. What? There's a jelly. Uh, jelly, jelly cat, jelly cat. Okay. Your jelly, your jelly. Tuxedo cat? Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Over there, over there. I feel like you're more excited about me getting my cats than I am. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. All right. She has been fed. Did, did she like you? Yeah. I gave her five fishes. Oh, it's a slab. Stone slab. Yeah. I got it. Okay. So now we can go figure out what goes in what house. So the farmers, I don't think they're going to live in the barn, but we can at least make them at work in here. Let's see. This reminds me of like, it feels like this kind of house is on a river. So this makes me think of fishermen. This, honestly, this looks like upper middle class 
generic house. Yeah. Cartography table? No. Um, I mean, cartographer sounds like a scholar to me. That's true. Or a librarian. Because we have four le- lecterns. I could put all four in here. This one looks okay. fancy. Oh, this right? one can be the cartographer. Okay. That or the, the, the brewing stand, because maybe it's less fancy and more magical? Uh, yeah, I can see that. Which Is it the most whimsical house that we have? No, I feel like... I feel like the mossy one is honestly weirdly more whimsical. I feel like a li- uh, someone one? who's magical would have like plants growing around their house, right? Yeah, we can make this the 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 okay. witch or whatever the cleric. That's what. Or oh, this one, we could just put them in this one. Uh, this <laughs> one, I f- it gives me uh shepherd vibes. Oh my days, you're right. We can have a bunch of shepherds. Heck yeah. That means we also need to add some sheep alongside the pigs on the other side. We can do that when we extend the house. What? Ooh, ooh. Ooh, this, this has, one. This is the the mason, right? Because of the... Yeah, hearts. I was thinking yeah. stone because they're all grindstone. <laughs> Heck yeah. Okay, this one's like dark. I'm thinking like some kind of smith. Smithing table? We've got a weapon smith, it goes with a it. tool smith. Yeah, Which one does the smithing table do? Tool smith. Let's do tool smith. Let's see. Bright yellow house. What we have left is cauldron, which is leather worker, smoker, which is a uh, butcher, blast furnace, which is an uh, armorer, grindstone, and fletching table. Fletching table? Yeah, I was about to say, I'm feeling either fletching table or cauldron. Let's see, I think we had like a couple houses left. We have this brown Wait, 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 one do you want, do you want something one. funny? What? Do you want something funny? What if you put the leather work, uh, the worker in here because it's like they're working with cows, which like minimum wage workers do? Uh, I could see that. That, oh wait, no, butcher! Because they they actually sell food. That makes that makes more sense. Wait, what's the butcher's table? That's the smoker. That makes sense. McDonald's. Okay, then we've got this brown house that reminds me of a s'more, and we've got this pink one. Oh, we only, we have three left then. Uh-oh. That's okay. We'll be building more houses. So remind me what we have um, left. We have grindstone, which is I think it's weapon smith. Okay. Cauldron, which is leather worker, and blast furnace, which is armorer. I feel like cauldron could be cool because leather workers make dyed clothes, right? Okay. And like with the pink one, I feel like I feel like someone making clothes would live with that. I vibe with that. Let's go with weapons. I don't know. Put them both in here. Just put them both in. Is that all of them? I think that's all of them. I mean, if that's everything you had in your inventory, that's all of them. I love our village. I can't wait to extend it. I think it'll look so cool when it's when it's going all the way down the mountain. <gasps> that was horrifying. What happened? Oh, what happened? I have blindness. What? Oh, you have blindness. <gasps> Did you did you do a shrieker? I think so. Yeah, it gives you I darkness, so it any. swells. I thought we didn't have any. Um, does that mean it summoned a warden? No, it, it you get four strikes. If you could I find thought... the shrieker, please mine it with silk touch, so we can have it. But I thought that we I thought that we didn't have any of those. We did in the deep dark near our house. It doesn't have to be an ancient city. It just has to be a deep dark. But we were running around there and we didn't activate it ever. I don't. Yeah, I, I did find one. I found one actually, um, because I ran around in a different area, and I actually did find uh, Shrieker. That's terrifying. Uh, Sorry, I I forgot to say. I just wanted to go mine, and I was like, oh, look at what the lava's doing. That's so cool. Ah! I'm sorry. Okay. Don't worry, you get four strikes, so I mean, you, you shouldn't be on your fourth point yet. You'll be fine. That's scary! I mean, yeah, I agree. Okay, um, what do You'll I need? be okay. I have a silk touch pick. That'll, is that- Yeah, just use that on it. Okay. Does the sound of me digging disturb it? No. Okay. When it breaks, it will trigger a, a sensor, but I- there, there probably won't be many around it, so you'll be fine to break it. And again, you have four strikes. The annoying thing is the strikes go down every ten minutes, so it takes a while to go back to strike zero when you're on strike four. I'm just going but... to go to controls, I'm going to go to sneak is toggle, and I'm just going to sneak. And it's going to take me a long time to get okay. there, but it's going to be worth it. Good luck! I don't think we have an ancient city below us, though. I am so scared. I'm sorry. I've never dealt with this stuff before, and all I know about the warden is it's like impossible to kill. You can't kill it. It's just very, 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 very hard. Yeah, I am still in diamond armor, so. Oh, yeah, that won't help. 
I was excited to capture how the lava generated. Oh, I'm sorry. Because I, I came down here and it's like a wall because of the the reset. This is the like chunk border where mm-hmm. the, the chunk was reset. So it's like a wall of lava, but it's not flowing. Oh, that's funny. That's weird. Yeah. So I have to be careful about that. Careful about updating that. Okay, I see it. Nice. Okay, and it's... I believe... I think this generated a little bit differently. Ooh. As everything has. It's just a little bit different. And there's a shrieker thingy. So we're gonna disturb this lava. I thought you said that placing blocks didn't do that. Placing blocks didn't do what? Just... (sighs) No, if you... you, The only block... Are you okay? Do you want help? I'm good. Can I place wool? Will it detect if I place wool? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wool's fine. Wool's fine. It has to be wool. Does wool catch on um, fire? Yes. That's not very good, is it? Hang on, I'm coming down. I'm coming down to get the shrieker. Hang on, I've almost got it. Uh-oh. I've got it. Ooh, oh, oh, oh you're over here. Hello. Yeah, I got it. I got it. Oh, <laughs> wait. Oh, no, no, no! I fell. It's just a- oh, if it's just a, a, a sensor, then nothing will happen. It's fine. It's just a sensor. No, it's a, um, it's a shrieker. Where's the shrieker? I'm holding it. Oh, well now that you've broken it, it won't summon one. Yeah, I don't have enough blocks on me to block this off. I guess I've got some dirt. Sorry, I I lagged and I was like, I don't want to die, so I placed water. No, I threw out a thingy and it- Ah, no, no, Ow! Be careful. You can't tell me what to frickin' do. Yeah, I think that was the shrieker I found. Oh my days, diamonds over here. Over where? Are you stealing my diamonds? I got, I got it. Oh, okay. There should be diamonds... Oh, I guess it generated differently. Okay. There were diamonds on this wall that were, like, exposed, but I guess not anymore. I've got nine diamonds for you. Here you go. Thanks. Do you want the shrieker? Sure, I'll take it upstairs. So, after this point, I messed up and stopped recording my microphone accidentally. So, I have, like, another hours worth of footage that is just completely unusable because I don't have both sides of the audio. I was recording in replay so I can show you a little bit of what I was working on during that time. I completely reorganized our chests inside the house. Also random went out and found some cherry blossom biomes uh, and then shortly after that realized that there are two cherry blossom biomes really close to where we live but just in a different direction. (laughs) And that's basically everything else significant that happened. It's not like I lost a ton, but I did lose enough to have like a satisfying, uh, a smoothly transitioning ending, if that makes any sense. So the whole video is just awkward now, but I still want to upload it because I still want to show you everything else that happened here. So we'll try to be more careful next week. In the meantime, thank you very much for watching and don't forget to, you know, like, comment, subscribe. Become a channel member, join the Discord. All those links are below. I'll see you next week. Mm